Hello, folks. Give me just a minute here. Hopefully this will pop up so I can try and see. Chat. Let's hope. <laughs> I'm worried that my internet's running slow tonight. I'm worried. And it just is not popping up yet for me. Did we start the live? Oh my. Let's hope. Because I am not seeing anything popping up. Oh, there I am. Oh, thank you so much for being patient, folks. I really appreciate it if anyone's in here. I truly do. Wait just a second and I will get this shared. A little earlier than what I was last night. Because last night it was my turn to get my son to bed. So. so that means tonight it's my husband's turn. And we're going to do one more little share here. There we go. Okay. Now last night I did the the board that used the charming witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil with some cobwebs. And then tonight I am going to use this one. And they're going to go kind of together. So this is the one I'm going to use tonight and I'm going to combine that onto two boards. So I'm going to kind of work these two boards together uh, and let one dry while I'm working on the other one. It's not really a big board. It's one of our chalk chips is what I'm doing here. So here we go. Uh, all right. I saw this idea and we're going to have to kind of adjust this. I'm going to start with my broom. And I want this to go longwise in my board. Now, the reason we're going to have to adjust this because clearly the broom is too long, but that's okay. I can adjust anything in Chalk Couture. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this transfer off, and it's been used before, so that's fine. And I'm just going to affix the broom handle where I want it on the board. And I know that the broom part is off, but that's okay. I don't care about that right now. And what I'm going to do, I have two of our glitter colors to you, or shimmer colors, shimmer gold and shimmer copper are what I'm going to do. I'm going to do shimmer copper for the broom handle portion of it. So we'll do that first, get it dry, and then we'll come back over and do the actual broom portion of it. And this is okay. We're going to be covering up the bottom part of this, but I'm not sure how far, so we're just going to chalk that right down like that. As simple as that. And again, this is our great shimmer. They came out with some wonderful shimmer pastes if you've not seen them. We've got copper, silver, and gold, but we also got a new red shimmer that just came out for the holidays. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to lay this board over here to dry, and I'm going to work on my chip. 
this chip usually when I get my chips in uh, my husband my partner in crime who helps me with everything um, usually punches holes in them with my crocodile or we also have a leather puncher that actually works with this as well so this has a hole punch in it and that's fine um, because we can put a ribbon through there so we're gonna chalk this with green and this little web transfer is in our current cut aparts for fall, our current catalog. And if you can see, I'm kind of putting this on off to the side here, off to the side. And we are going to use parakeet. It's that great kind of really bright green color to get that corner of the web on. And let's pop that up. Oh, nope, I got a little bit up there that I didn't quite get. There we go. And so this board will kind of be, this will be kind of fall, the web will be kind of falling off the board. So there is our web. Now, I'm also gonna need to do this on the other side because this is gonna be a two-sided board. So I am gonna take a minute here and I'm going to dry the web. Dry that up. And while we're sitting here, you know what? Since I've dried that, we're going to add a little spider to it because what good is a web without a spider? Okay. So I, again, my iPad is acting up and I'm not seeing comments. So chat amongst yourselves and I will answer comments when I am done videoing this. I wanna get this guy on here. I want him on kind of to the side here. And I'm gonna do him in green as well because I want my lettering that I'm gonna be putting on the other side to really pop. So let's pull you up here. And I've got my spider and a web. And I know it's kind of combined in there, but I'm okay with that look. Let's do this, dry this up. There we go. All right. All right, so we are over top of this. I want to make sure it passed the hand test. We're just going to flip this over and I'm essentially going to do the exact same thing on this side. So let's get our web onto here. And we'll do our web. You've probably figured out how I'm going to do this there, but this is the witch is in and the witch is out and we'll be able to flip sides on this little guy to say if the witch is in or the witch is out. So there we go, we got our spider web. Okay, now I gotta dry, I have to dry this one more time. There we go. And I'm sorry that I can't see comments. I really love chatting with people. And I've just, Facebook has gotten so persnickety as it comes to iPads. And I watched this on the side with my iPad over to the side here. And uh, I try to catch comments, but it's just not catching, any, catching anything. So I'm gonna do that and see if, I, oh, I got to see my own comment. So there we go. <laughs> okay. So that is dry. Let's try our little, little spider. And we've got our spider.
so we're going to let that dry for a bit. And we're going to move back to our board here. Now, I don't need to do the board two sides because I'm only going to be using one side of the boards. But I do need my... I am done with the green. Let's get that closed up. And for the bottom part of the broom, I'm going to use my shimmer gold. And... And we're just gonna kind of place that over top of, and that's just gonna kind of work its way, the handle will just work its way down into that. And I need to leave a little space, because remember, I, this groove, it has to sit in about a half inch groove there, so I need about at least half inch space. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I can see the broom handle through here, so I know exactly where I need to go. So, let's get some of this gorgeous shimmer gold. I did a porch board in shimmer copper, and it looked kind of dull when it was inside, but man, I had it out at the show I was at this past weekend. That baby just shone in the light, and that is the neat thing about our shimmer, our shimmer colors, that they really do shimmer and shine in the light. Okay, so there's our bottom half of our broom. Let's pull that up, and now we've got our broom. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And that will sit okay in our base. Now, here comes the easy part. <laughs> the hardest part is really just knowing how much room I'm going to need here. Because essentially, I'm going to sit this on the board. And then this is going to rest against it. So, so it'll be like this and you can flip it over for the witches in and witches out. So what I'm going to do, hmm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it just like this. So this is going to sit here. And I'm doing this and just our plain bright white paste. Simple, simple, simple. So, we're going to do this one word at a time. We're going to do the. Now, if these words were closer together and I was worried about bleeding over, I'd put some tape there, but I don't need to do that. So, we've got the, but I am going to need to dry this. We'll just set that up there because the transfer is going to kind of be real close to there, and I don't want to mess up that lettering. So, let's just dry the the we'll dry the the <laughs> and we'll give that a second off to the side to dry on its own and we'll do our in and out we can start with our in let's make sure that gets somewhat straight but it's Halloween. Things don't have to be straight. It's Halloween. They can be all askance and crazy and weird. It's the best part about it. Okay, so we've got our in. So our witch is in, and then we'll dry that and do the other side. And I probably could work on this other board after I've done the air dry, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't hurt to be just a little extra cautious, and that's all I'm doing, being a little extra cautious. So we'll let, push that up, and let that dry, and next we'll do our witch. Here we go. I'm totally eyeballing this. And people who know me as a card maker know that I eyeball way too much. <laughs> I know, smart crafters would measure. I'm not a smart crafter. <laughs> but I also know too that this is a very forgiving medium and if it doesn't work, I'll just wipe it off and do it again. In this case, the H didn't come out great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and a little bit of water. 
and I'm gonna make it right. Whoop. Again, a very forgiving medium. Got a little too much water on there though. And if you guys remember from last night on the board, I had to do a little bit of repair work afterwards. And if I have to go back in um, with a paintbrush, which I've done numerous times, I wait until this is dry and then I just kind of do a little dab with the, paint, with the um, chalk paste on a wet brush and it works just fine. Now I want to wait to do the rest of this repair until this other part is a little bit better dry and then I'll be able to get a little water in there and take care of it. So onward we go we're going to dry this i'm going to dry this up and if you didn't catch last night's board it was really cute go back and watch the video i think it's only like 15 minute video um you should be able to see it on replay as i said it came out super cute so I'm just going to switch this out and we're going to do out for the witch is out. And again, it doesn't matter if this is straight because this is going to be resting on the board. So it's going to naturally kind of turn slightly one way or the other. Whole lots of uses for our chalk tips. People use them for... Um, little ornaments, even just to, to teach people about chalk couture, but I like to include them into a work if we can. So we're gonna let that sit up there and dry. And we'll just do our very last bit. And that's how quick this two-piece board came together. And that'll go with the other board I made last night, the, um, the witch lives here, a charming witch lives here with her little monsters and one handsome devil. That is such a cute little saying. So we've got the witch is here. There is that. So there. And as I said, when I get this top part a little bit more dry, I can go back in and just clean that up with a Q-tip. That's fine. I'm just gonna close my pastes. My pastes took quite a beating this weekend when I was outdoors. I was working in the sun and it was hot. All right, so we've got that. Now the last thing we need to do, you know what, I didn't dry that, sorry. I am gonna dry this real quick. And then I'll show you the very last thing we're gonna do. And you can do this with anything you've got on hand, whatever works for you. And I'm just drying that because I'm gonna work with it. I have this little, it's like this twill ribbon here from close to my heart, close to my heart. My friend Deb sells this, and my other friends do too. But uh, that's where I got this from. So we're just going to create a little tie. So there's something in that hole that we've cut there. And we're just gonna cut those. And so then we have our board, which is, it's, it's a little weird because I kind of have to lay it down so you can see it. But you can see you've got the witch and then this will sit there. The witch is out or the witch is in. And you've got a fun little decoration piece for Halloween. That's the second board. As I said, I did another one last night to go with it. Um, as I posted earlier today, these transfers, these are like kind of gold transfers. Like they don't even make this size anymore. That's how these are from at least a year ago, um, uh, if not two. And they were extremely popular. 
I bought I bought quite a few because I knew how popular they were. So if you want to get one, PM me um, and I'll give you the details on how you can purchase these um, from me because uh, they are still available. So thank you for popping in and hanging out. I appreciate you. I always appreciate a like and a share. That always helps me a lot here at Lori Be Crafty. And check out my other videos too, okay? All right, have a good night, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.